What's going on, everybody? So can we talk about the beast in the room and the beast being Tesla? 143 points on the day. I only came very, very late to the party. Caught a very, very small piece here uh, on this move just because I was in other trades off, off the open. Uh, I seen the big gap up. I did have some pivot pivots in there for uh, the members in the Discord. The pivot that I had going into today was going to be 1081, taking profits into 1120. Yeah, we see how well that worked out. So the adjustment that was made was let's see what pre-market highs are. If momentum continues to be strong, we have any sort of pullback after pre-market highs. Um, underneath the pre-market highs and in that second ramp through, uh, you know, that entry would have been good to take. So let me just kind of break that down and kind of show you guys what that would have uh, looked like here. <clears throat> so if we just take a look here, pre-market, okay, let's get to closer to 6.30, which is Pacific Standard Time, my time. All right, so pre-market highs right here at around 11.54, okay? So big, 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 big gap up here. You can see here was my pivot from yesterday. Make sure you guys can see that on screen. Yeah, here's my pivot uh, that I put in last night. 1081 uh, needs to build. So if we can get over 1081, I was thinking we come right in here to this zone 1120. Would have been a fantastic move. Not only did we gap over the 1081, kind of blew through that during uh, – the market open and pre-market and then kind of traded sideways and then we blew through it open again. So if we just look at this candle here, 615, we put in this high at 1154, had a little bit of a back trace into the rising 20 day moving average. If you guys know me for scalping on the five minute chart, I love, absolutely love using the 20 SMA um, kind of as a rule of thumb, as a guide, as a stop loss, as a resistance, as a support. So with that being said, 1154, put in that high, pulled all the way back to the 20 SMA, bounced off. And then you can see right here, this candle that I'm highlighting, where is it at? Right here, we had that big drop, okay, right at the bell, okay? And then 635, not only do we recover, as you see bulls buy this up off the 20, and then we push through this 1154, which is a pre-market highs. This would have been your entry here. If you're a scalper, you're looking for one, two, three pushes higher. So we get this first initial push up to 1160, second push all the way up here to 1170. So if you are a scalper, Think about it. This is 16 points in your favor. You're going at the money, just one strike outside the money, in the money. You're, sc you're scalping this 15, 16 points. Your day is done. You're set it and forget it, depending on your position, sizing, how many contracts you're taking, two, three, four, five, 10, 20, 50. Um, you know, that 15 points is sufficient enough. But let's say you have a little bit of a smaller account. You need to go maybe two to three strikes outside of the money. You need more of a bigger run. Uh, you know, for you to make a little bit more money. That 1154 pivot was going to be your entry here coming off those pre-market highs. You're going to let it dip and then rip. And as soon as we rip through those pre-market highs is when you're going to take your um, entry here. As long as we don't start closing, you know, one, two, three candles below the 20 moving average, we're going to continue to stay in this trade. As you can see here, when we did come up to this 1170, we did pull all the way back to the 20. Again, nice little flag pattern here. So if I was to draw, whoops, if I was to draw a little, you know, break here. There's a little bit of a flag pattern here. Here's a little bit of a flag pattern here. Here's a little bit of a flag pattern here. Here's a little bit of a flag pattern here. So Tesla, it really, really sets up these flag patterns where you can kind of play these intraday breakouts. But, you know, this move right through these pre-market highs, pull back perfectly to the 20 next move higher pulled back perfectly to the 20 and then we get this just algo buying here and then we get a nice little pullback here before close into the 20 and then after hours currently just ripping higher uh 1208 in the after hours i think this goes higher i think we touch all-time highs this week if not tomorrow then for sure uh maybe possible inside bar rest day tomorrow on tesla but i mean the way that the momentum is looking uh, in the structure, it, it, it looks like, you know, Tesla is going to uh, blow through these um, all time highs here. So if we kind of just take a look at the daily time frame, big gap up, I will expect this gap to get filled at a later at a later date. Uh, room to fill on the gap downwards, 1061. Definitely this will get filled at a later date. So we just need to see how high does Tesla run if we get any sort of day two continuation, 1202. 
1200 that psychological level was going to be the breakthrough that's kind of invalid right now just due to the after hours we're trading at 1208 so we need to see where does after hours close at where does pre-market open up at don't be surprised if this opens up at 1240 don't be surprised if this opens up at 1240 bell opens we put in this boom initial big blow off top over 1240 set all-time highs 1250 1260 1270 and then start to come all the way back down um you know anything is possible with tesla but for all of you guys who are holding a runner on this trade congratulations fantastic move to all of you guys that bought the dip last friday off this rising 50-day moving average here a little bit risky just due to the fact that we closed underneath the 50-day moving average. However, we know we got those delivery numbers in. Super, super bullish here. So what we were looking at if you were buying that dip was that that dip was going to get eaten up here. And as long as we did not break below that 1050 zone and start falling towards the rising 20 at 1022, we would have continued to stay in this trade. And lo and behold, we had fantastic fantastic move on this gap and go um there's nothing more to say about tesla the amount of times that i've traded this stock over the past few years um you know the volatility in it up down it, it doesn't matter this there's no other better stock and i challenge anyone uh you know to leave that stock in the comments but you tell me what stock gives you more volatility in these big ranges like tesla no other stock even compares to what tesla can do um so if you are a day trader you have a decent size account meaning you know you're not trading with five hundred a thousand dollars you got you got some decent money you can play some options if you learn how to play options you learn the way that tesla moves in and out you can definitely scalp these opening range breaks you can scalp these pre-market high breaks these pre-market low breaks these intraday flag patterns that tesla sets up uh it trades really really well so just going forward let's keep an eye on tesla let's see how we close in the after hours let's see what pre-market looks like if we have this the, another big gap up into these all-time highs here i'd be careful of taking your first entry in the 1240s 1250s if you're already in fantastic sell into that um and then hold a runner and see how high it goes. But if your first entry is, hey, I'm going to take an entry at all time highs on Tesla with a huge 50, 60 point gap down here, that's not what you want to be doing. So if you're not already currently in this and we open up gapping higher, I would stay away for the short time being until we can have some sort of pullback allow the moving averages to come up have some sort of consolidation maybe get a little bit of a flag pattern or we get some pullback any pullback into this 1120 um into this 1120 1115 zone needs to be bought i think this could potentially act as a level of resistance so let's say for example tesla wants to pull back we trade inside bar day here have a red day this week and come back down to 1120 this would potentially be the area of opportunity where you want to bounce Tesla along through all-time highs. Now, if we gap up higher into all-time highs and then put off this blow-off top and start losing steam Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I would hang tight and allow it to dip and see where are we going to find support. Are we going to find support here at around 1150s? Are we going to find support in that 1120 zone? Are we going to dip below that and come all the way back down to that uh, 1081 initial, uh, that initial breakout here off the uh, rising 50-day moving average? Lo and behold, but again, I just had to jump on, make a quick video on Tesla, 143 point move. So everybody who's trading, you know, looking for these next stocks to go to the moon and the stock that's oversold and all these small cap stocks, and you guys are, you know, waiting for the next GameStop and AMC to happen. Guys, you guys can literally just trade Tesla and it'll do that for you every single day. Now, it's not gonna give you 100 points every single day, but the thing is, with Tesla's average true daily range, 10, 15, 20 points, there's money to be made both long and short just trading Tesla. Now, if you're if you're newer and you're not that experienced, definitely I would recommend to stay away from trading Tesla um, until you kind of get your feet wet. Trade stocks like AMD, trade stocks like Apple, trade stocks like even Facebook or MU or... Um, I would leave NVIDIA alone. 
Uh, yeah, but I mean, you can the spy, the triple cues. Like I would practice with those, learning your levels, perfecting your strategy, and then when you're feeling confident, your risk management is on point. Come over to the granddaddy of them all. Start trading Tesla. Um, I traded at least two to three times a week, at least long or short, depending on the setups. Uh, normally is sets up fantastic trading opportunities, but I will see you guys all in the next video. For those of you guys that are a member of my discord, I will see you guys in the discord tomorrow. Uh, let's keep continuing to crush it. I know it's only the first trading day of 2022. Let's remain smart. Let's remain disciplined. Let's remain compounding these small gains. Remember guys, just because the market is open every day doesn't mean that we need to trade the market. We trade the market when value presents itself in front of us, not just because we're forcing a trade. So until next time, guys, I will see you guys all on the next video.